Hi, I'm Doc Ellis. We're going to talk about Federal Workers' Compensation Day and how to file a claim. All this information can be found at ellisclinic.com. A lot of handouts, checklists, right to select your doctor, medical travel payments, video surveillance, supervisors screwing up your claim, uh, VA disability. But today we're talking about how to file a claim when you first get hurt. Most important thing you need to have is your form filled out. There are three forms. A CA1, that's acute injury. You know, sprain your ankle, hurts your back. A form CA2 is cumulative trauma, like carpal tunnel. Sprain your back several times and it keeps getting worse and worse and you finally file a claim. A CA2A, probably shouldn't use it unless you really have some advice. That's for a recurrence. It's sometimes easier to just file a new claim. CA1s are rather simple. Uh, you, you hurt yourself, you tell your supervisor, you get out and you print out the form, you can get it at ellisclinic.com or Google, it's CA1. Fill it out, if you have a witness, have him write a little note, it's just great. Now the trouble with a CA1, a CA2, a CA2A and Federal Workers' Comp is usually not the claims examiner. Like, Who is a claims examiner? A claims examiner is your God, is your jury, is your judge that you'll never meet and you'll never vote for. They are in, in one of 16 offices. They have to make the determination whether to accept your claim. And I don't know how they do it. They're sitting there with one computer screen at a time and they're in a, in a stack of records this high and they have to make a decision. So let's make it easy for them. Fill that form out completely, 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 completely. And then you need to have the trouble that we have. You need a white coat. And we white coats, doctors are not trained in legal medicine. All we learned in medical school about legal medicine is that lawyers don't go to heaven. That's still true, but it's not all the information you need. You're going to have to have a doctor's report that gives the medical rationale that the claims examiner can accept. Because if they accept the claim, it doesn't come out of their budget, it comes out of your agency's budget. So they have a higher duty. For instance, I had a guy who worked at Tinker, and had carpal tunnel, cubital tunnel, you know, sheet metal worker, uh, obviously, no brainer. Doctors wrote very good reports. As a professor, I give them B plus uh, for state workers comp, but it was denied by federal, by the claims examiner, since the standard letter doesn't have the medical rationale. Then he, well, it's conspiracy, and so he takes it to the Employment Compensation Appeals Board, which is the final board. He caps the final. Don't go there. Get more medical records. Just keep going back for reconsiderations. So anyway, I don't know Judge Camillus, honest man, he has to say the same thing because there's nothing in those records that gives the medical rationale of how all well, using those tools and stuff all those years caused the tendons to get swollen, pinch the nerve. If you fall off the roof and hit your supervisor, unless the doctor writes a medical rationale report, it has to be denied. So make sure you find a doctor that knows how to do that. If your doctor doesn't know it, it's okay to refer to somebody that does. And it, it's amazing. People come from all over the United States to this little hick doctor in Oklahoma because no one knows how to do paperwork. And I understand that. We usually get you pre-approved. We get you travel paid. It doesn't cost you anything. And it's not a, a, a hit against your doctor. Let us do the scut work. He can do a surgery. So go to ellisclinic.com, print out, checklist for federal workers' compensation. It tells you about the forms, what to do if you file, what to do if it gets denied, how to reconsider, all the little things you need to know. Bless you.